YouTube. Howard is a documentary dedicated to the life of Howard Ashman, the man who is partially responsible for the Disney Renaissance, an era of amazing animated films from The Little Mermaid in 1989 to Tarzan in 1999. Howard worked with the legendary Alan Menken and provided the lyrics to songs from The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and a couple from Aladdin. He truly did give a mermaid her voice and a beast his soul. Like most people, I grew up with these films, and it wasn't until a few years ago when I started really appreciating them. You know, like the voice acting, the music, the animation, the medium in general. And I'm really into Disney documentaries. I mean, you got the PBS one about the man himself, Sweatbox, which is about the production hell of one of my favorite Disney movies, Pixar Story, Into the Unknown, The Making of Frozen 2, and of course, Waking Sleeping Beauty. Speaking of which, I got really excited when Ella's announced Howard was coming to Disney+. Plus. It's directed by the same man who directed Waking Sleeping Beauty, Don Hahn. He's been at Disney since the late 80s, I believe, and he's produced a bunch of my favorite Disney movies since then. Okay, so back to the Howard doc itself. Wow. I mean, I knew Howard Ashman was a genius beforehand, but wow. Howard documents, well, the life of Howard Ashman from his childhood to his final moments with some of the Beauty and the Beast crew members, like Don Hahn, Alan Menken, and I think the directors, Gary Truesdale and Kirk Wise. When it comes to Don Hahn's format of these docs, I honestly prefer Waking Sleeping Beauties. It was a blend of voiceover and talking heads, which is the format that I'm kind of using right now, like I'm talking to the camera. Howard was voiceover only on top of archival footage and pictures, which I don't really mind. I just prefer some talking heads. The first half of the documentary focuses on Howard's childhood, young adulthood, and some of his early projects that he worked on, his early career working on non-Disney musicals. Some of the earlier projects he worked on with Alan Menken, like Little Shop of Horrors and God Bless You Mr. Rosewater. Then the second half is when he started working at Disney and wrote the lyrics for Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. During the production of Beauty and the Beast, actually, Howard pitched an idea for an animated story about Aladdin. He wrote a bunch of songs for it, and I think it was Jeffrey Katzenberg who was chairman of Disney at the time. He scrapped most of the songs and only kept Prince Ali and Arabian Nights. I will say, as a Disney fan, I was more interested in the Disney stuff. I watched this with my mom and I pointed out the animators and voice actors like Glenn Keane or Jodie Benson before their names popped up on the screen. And I got to see voice actors like Richard White, Paige O'Hara, Angela Lansbury, and Jerry Orbach singing songs like Belle and Be Our Guest with the live orchestra. And by the sound of it, it seemed like those takes were used for the final movie, which was really cool. At one point, they were all listening to the final cut of Be Our Guest, and it totally reminded me of the end of the unknown scene in the Frozen 2 docuseries. What I really like is that he was pretty much a vocal coach for the voice actors. He stood right next to Jodie Benson or Age O'Hara, and he was pretty much like, can you sing this note a little higher or some other vocal coach instructions? <laughs> it did kind of take a while for that second half to come, but the first half was still really great. And according to some of the archive photos, Howard definitely looked like a cat person, which is another win in my book. Oh yeah, and you know who decided to make Sebastian Jamaican instead of British? Yeah, little crab guy. And proposed the idea of that iconic stained glass intro in Beauty? Him. Along with all of his music, you can thank him for that too. Now, during this time, Howard was struggling with AIDS. He kept it really private. Since he was working at a family-friendly company, coming out as LGBT and saying you have AIDS was a lot more taboo than it is now. Don Hahn and Alan Menken were really supportive when they eventually learned, and Peter Schneider, the president of the Walt Disney Company, was even angry at Howard for not telling him earlier. Howard passed away due to the illness on March 14, 1991. Don Hunt states that after a really successful test screening of Beauty, the crew members that I mentioned earlier came to the hospital to say their final goodbyes. They said something to Howard like, oh my gosh, it was so great, who knew it would have been this successful? And Howard, who was down to 80 pounds, lost his sight and his voice, replied in a whisper, I would have. My mom said she could tell I was getting emotional during that. Howard Ashman died nine months before Beauty and the Beast premiered, and I just know he would have been so proud of the movie. It's just so heartbreaking to know he never got to see the final product. Please, oh please, don't get me started on the dream Mankin had about Howard the morning he died. I know this review was almost my letterbox review verbatim, but even though I never met him or even existed when he was alive, I miss you, Howard. On the rainbow scale, this is a blue movie. 
I kind of would have liked it a little longer so that it would have dived deeper into the songwriting process of Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin, but it's still a fantastic documentary nevertheless. If you're a fan of documentaries, musical theater, Disney, and or animation in general, I highly recommend you check this out. It was such a great experience. And please tell me I'm not the only one who rolled my eyes when that news reporter called live action movies normal movies. Ugh. We live in a society. We live in a society like this. So, yeah, this Howard Ashman documentary was incredible, and now I need an Alan Making documentary, and my life will be complete. Howard, this is to you. It's apple juice, I swear. If you watched Howard on Disney+, Plus, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below because I would love to know. And make sure you comment, like, subscribe for future movie reviews, and I'll see you later.